the game uses auto save. You like my old game game picture? Okay now. <laughs> Uh, where's my drum? Wiki wiki wah 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 wah. We're just playing our Rockstar games now. Because <laughs> we had that other Rockstar game on, on sale as well, that bully one. I'll try that as well. Try that as well. Rockstar, Rockstar only channel. <laughs> Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this but land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, oh, yeah. but they've gained access to heaven. Yeah, but father, do you mean Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean okay, to say, communion, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Someone's yes, a savage on this like game. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can no fly. No way, we're gonna fly. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned. You just like listen to everyone's conversation. Nate Johns. Wake up at government. His isn't family it? is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in Get the him politics. Austin. Mrs. Bush, play that. money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can um. buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have 
the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to oh, make Papa the trying to get. between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Fuck one, rude boy. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Oh, I'm gonna have like a, a terrible thing on there. Uh, uh, the Avatar Award. You guys are gonna give me like a cowboy hat. I gotta put cowboy hat on in it. <laughs> yeah. I say I'm a cowboy. I'm not gonna stop doing that. So I'll stop giving you like Avatar stuff in there. I'm gonna just, just give you stuff. And uh, there was. Let's see. Get subtitles. I'm going massive. Uh, let me just save this. I'm going to open it up. People want to be a cowboy, man. There's my picture. Yeah, let's see if it's done. No, I wanna, I wanna swag walk it. Can I change the, can I change the camera? Oh, oh, friendly, I'm oh, friendly. <laughs> Which case he's gone out. Where's that? Where's the back button does that. Yeah, I've discovered the deadly assassin. Oh. Uh, uh, I'll make a dead eye with it. This guy's got jogged out. Right, right, right. Uh, so I'll just change my outfit then. Alright. Alright. Did he so get checked out for me? He's drunk. He's drunk. Yeehaw! Had the partner. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Someone is like. I'm not gonna play out playing the piano. Can I just like pop off? Come on, pop off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, a decent house right there. Let's do this thing. Sociable as an ulcerated back to you. 
I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Well, we're playing this actually play GTA. <laughs> Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Yeah, so it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. He says he got a man. telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's not my business. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's right. Up. <laughs> Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would. Come out here right now. You bow out here. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Big Will. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> Oh, 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 do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. I'm no boss. more Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implore. Yeah. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, oh, snap. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Papa got roasted already.
get wasted. Friends, no new friends. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? Yeah. I was. Oh. I was doing, I was just doing my stupid. thing. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple of days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. Oh, fifteen dollars. <laughs> Should have left me there to die. <laughs> Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston, John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. Jim West in it. Huh. <laughs> so what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For <laughs> time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like From you. Eastwood. Thank you, Miss. See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly Ma recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. I need to send them notifications, huh? Yeah. Hello? Oh, is this my crib now? Oh, that's what I did. Mm. Oh. Alright, I'm in prison. Oh, oh. Howdy, partner. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. <laughs> I'm gonna pay back that fifteen dollars, isn't it? <laughs> I'll buy a cheese bag or something. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, it's time for you to see oh, what a real race looks like. Do you want to race? Race me. Papa just trying. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. 
I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen mm. more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Try to keep up, will you? Yeah, I'm coming. Hold on. You'll get no complaints from me, Mr. Don't Marlin. Race. Drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. And stay in my crib, isn't it? Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Just leave the door sure. open. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. And now I'm going to close the door. We best get moving. <laughs> this is a dangerous time of night. Leave the front door open. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, back here, little rabbit. Little rabbit. I'm just gonna. Let's mount up and patrol the rest of the property. Oh, Chickens, bruh. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Easy. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Me. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Sleep in bed, save progress. Uh, wake up six hours later. Uh, extra ammo from the trunk. Oh, really? really? Hey. Hey, baby girl. I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell uh -oh. me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course. 
course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh, you wanna race? I don't want to race in these games. <laughs> hey, I'll <laughs> say don't race me, bruh. Big mistake. Used to be a rally driver. Used to be a rally driver, ain't you, Tyrone? <laughs> cool I am. Three, two, one. <laughs> cool I am. Hey, how's she going? You don't know me at all, Mr. McFarland. There we go. See? Oh, she kicked me off. Oh, I gotta get back on. Go, 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 go. Alright. Oh, she's probably fine right now. I like passing all the time. It's so a thing. Oh, I'm going far behind. Can we start? Can we start? I'm gonna wait till it ends. <laughs> Slow down. I don't see how to do it. Where the stamina thing is. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Up above that. <laughs> yeah.
You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think's best, Mr. Marston. You never had your horse. <laughs> I never had it. Uh, Marshall. Uh, where is it? You already own a house. So that seems indeed for another time. Hmm. Does that go away? Where's Ah, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? How do you I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Let me do the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't mind, I'd really like to get moving. Yeah, slow down, girl. Slow down. You're looking Damn. much better, considering you were almost buzzing <laughs> a couple days ago. <laughs> I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. always hope it. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. <laughs> I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? <laughs> Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really so say I good. understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. So this is Armadillo. 
Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Yes, ma'am. Had the partner. Excellent to see mm, you today. Good. Good player. I got stock of them electric belts. Uh, need to lose weight. tobacco. That's a tough I decision. Don't know. Thanks. Uh, Medicine is another consumable. I don't need any of it. Uh, first openers. You already have full health, alright. This is instantly better. Hey, Mr. Johnson, you ready to go? Well, it's for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. I always get shot. I always get shot. Though. I get shot. You <laughs> shoot at me. Uh, there. I'm unloading behind the station. Okay, now I'm going to purchase I'm going to purchase this out of it. Purchase from Howdy Partner. <laughs> Everywhere. Ah, uh, must be at the top of this. Uh, this guy will paint tunes. <laughs> kind of it. with light. That's fine, stronger than that. You now have on a new horse, it'll come when you whistle. What's the button? Oh, no, I'm not aiming at you, bro. I'm not. <laughs> it was it on the whistle for it then? Hey, you just spot me. Tough time, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a right. showdown. You wanna have a showdown? You don't Let's know go. Me, mister. Right. 
X, X. Uh, probably the jewel. So that's what the quest was. You just wanted to. Just wanted to have a jewel. Come eastward, bruh. E dragon. Go. I'll go with my aim. Oh. Eastward. Jump, bro. So you could have just asked me to to kill someone, and now you know you're dead. Get lead. Jack two. Let's check how much money. Four dollars. Let's go. John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. <laughs> was wow. I guess because we're both in the business of the law. I am the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what, you, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them so Williamson boys. Of man, y'all gross. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Go on now. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here, doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. 
That's all I got today. Oh, God. So it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. Mm. Yeah, we're going to the salon. My hair and stuff. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. Yeah, I got away from my horse. Where are they going? Come on! Oh, yeah. Let's go. I just pop him. I'm gonna pop him. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him? Because that ain't how he can still talk. Sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Yo, it's the sheriff. Put your hands up. This hill. <laughs> yeah, you. Over here. Take. Why don't you try pointing it at somebody before you pull the trigger, genius? Arster, take that bastard and hit the creek. Correct. Get to that crate. I got you covered. There you go. Know. Oh, it's not. Over there. Look out. There's one behind the outhouse. Good. Now move up to the outhouse, Marston. I'll teach you some respect for the law. I am the law. Mr. Marston, why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? 
I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Ooh, now. <laughs> yeah! All about the fame. Yeah, minus. Other people will react positive. Number one pack. I didn't have a thing to like. Think him Who's that? Oh, I need him that. I need him more than you now. Marshall just leaves behind the altar. So you play with her on the next one, don't you? So yeah. He's acting like Xbox, isn't it? Oh, hey He's just a boy! He's, who is? Who is? Who is? What do you say, bro? Hello? It's Armadillo731. What is it with these things? Hello? <laughs> New line. Not Hello. Fun, no. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Hey, my man. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. 
<laughs> Marshall! <sighs> Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple spying, of them rustlers. Uh... I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most Three. unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ride with us again, Marcy? Correct. Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Right in Marshall. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. We need to stick together, mm, boy. Them right, so might don't be have no government, bro. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash. <laughs> Even the wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer. And it's killed a way of life. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're going to suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Are you sure we're the Baller twins, Eli? Sure as shoot. I'd know those boys any place. Nearly there. Because I'm just Marshall Mathers. Here and follow me. There we go, work our way up. Head for the fall. All the way up. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshall. Was your best friend? Just turn on top of there. Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boys? Nice shot. This is gonna shoot anyone that just pops. Was anyone else? I can't take much more of this. Let's go. There's a couple of the rat bastards. Mm -hmm. I jump up there. Give it up. Don't have to waste no biatches. What can I say, partner? Come on, the deputies are making some ground over there. Oh, 
Boom. So much cover. All right. Let's take that armor cover. Come out with your hands up. I got one. Yeah, one shot, one shot, one kill. I'll hit up the ridge and scatter down. See if there's any spare ammo in that camp. In here. Excuse me, mister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I'm out for them, you're looking at me. Let's see. 
Yeah, they never been up on there. Hey, that's how you mess it up. You sleep, like sleeping two hours and then you're up and then you sleep. <laughs> Looks like the yeah, like. Will be rustling yeah. again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. Oh, one second, we're gonna leave these buttons, bro. Uh, yeah, I might be a man now. Uh, uh, Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. But one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Rest in peace, my friend. <laughs> Gosh, huh? Come on. Look at that cash.
Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. <laughs> Let's go, get it up. The fuck criminals. Oh, I got gun. Follow the Dodge. The Dodge has got something. Where's it, boy? Got something. Okay, son. The mouse. Where's it from? I got to turn around. Snake oil. 
I haven't got any ammo, can I? No, I'll even use confess. What are these? These are maps. Down by the river killed another family last night. Confess. How much of these? Oh, 500. Yeah, I got that. Spread the word. I got that one. That's what I need. That's what I do, man. Nice doing business with you. A good shopkeeper should be a good neighbor. I always love uh, the horsey. That just shows where you stay. Come on, easy up there. Still can't do it. Oh, God. Keep sleeping till it's at least past 5 a.m. The six hours I'm gone yet. Let's go. Keep sleeping. Whoa. McFarlane. Yes, from Lee Johnson. To sell no, you real there. for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarlane. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that game. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. 
father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. His eyes were, well, Let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. That way. somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that. Oh. But thank you. Good to see you, Miss McCarlin. Control that horse, will ya? Why do you want me to play? I'm trying. I'm not trying. Come on. Don't make me pop. Don't make me pop, y'all. Slow down! Keep 
Slow down. Oh. Oh, did I kill him as well? Oh, no, no, no. There's much treasure here. You want maps? <laughs> I just got him in the leg then. You earn it. Yeah, bro. Thanks, mister. I can use a little bit. I can you, bro. What have you got for me? Mr. Marston, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Drew. Marston. Please. Drew Hill. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you.
good. But, well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Uh -oh. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Uh -oh. sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the I know the ride? we're only as free as they say we are. <laughs> Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. <laughs> yeah. Relax. Let's see it, boy. Almost got it. Right Come on, man, town boy. Uh, uh. Come on, this don't feel too good. That's it. Don't give up. It's all right. You're, You're mine now. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is. There you You'll go. There we go. Time. I'm impressed, Marston. Let me take it from here. You get back on your own horse. Woo. I think that's enough activity for an old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's rope another one. Yeah. Another one. We haven't got all day. That's it. Hold in there. Right, let's see if you can break this one. You got this. <laughs> Easy. Hold on. Come on, Marston. Let's go. Let's go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in busting Broncos? 
That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. If you can bear to stop oh. killing people for a living. Sure. Yeah. 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 Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. We're gonna stop. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Oh. And many like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. There's my boys. Come on, Miss Marston. Right on these poles. Come on. That's how I go once it's done. Let's go. Oh, I think I have to take them up there. Yeah.
<laughs> Get back here. Today, Mr. Marston, we got some fine horses. Oh, you know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. There we go. That's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's that one. 
Alright, so where am I now? Uh, what's that? Money. Yeah. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the door, mister. Come on, Dodge, let's go. Uh, 
can't be that. Empty. We're blocking him. Row, row, row. You can leave him here. Look off it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, what's up, touch? What's up, touch? Where are you? Can go for it? Where is that? the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Dang it, y'all. Uh, I'll get my other half back. Whoa. I don't know. Oh, it's just got him. Let's go there. Right, I need to touch. I gotta go do something. <laughs> somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna get me my wife and kid back. The pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland, and there ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together.
back in line. Hustle. Go. Let's go. Yeah. There's boots. We have to stop the stampede. Do something. They're heading for the cliff. Oh, damn. They have a. Uh... Down there. Oh, how fast do you have to go? I gotta go oh fast. God, you're running for the cliff.
job. You saved the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarlane. What's this one, right? Good weather for ducks, I suppose. Looking well, sir. Hello there. Wanna play a game of horseshoes? Alright, I'm playing horseshoes. Maybe they have fun. Out of here. It's an alright game. Dude, that's good man.
go away. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. What brings you out this way? Uh, well, howdy. Up, fam? Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but... We lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so... Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. Not can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper would. tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Uh huh. Uh. the carry all these tasks. I complete at any time. So I have to start. Uh, so. Ah, uh, shows a lot. So each one's marked on the map. I partner. Hold on. Oh, there. Oh, what's up, baby girl? Took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. Can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. All right, I get him. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. I want to say send him a. Hope your morning's a pleasant one, sir. Watch a hard movie. I'm gonna get banned for this. Shh, down in front.
my back combined in pain of, of expression. It takes a revitalization. 98% morphine. Gracias. Rip on Bruna. Dry <laughs> herbs, the herbs, which is gracias. Invisible tonic, what? He's gone through the ground. Is he? Oh, he's gone to hell. Welcome, dear boy. We've been expecting you. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna leave you dead. Don't trust medicines in it. Most of them. Oh, 
Yeah. Do you think I'm a joke? Yeah. Come on then. Don't mention it, man. Oh, man. Alright, oh, you got your straight, straight to the... Straight to the down, man. <laughs> got him all the way to the down. Revolver ammo. Uh, that should keep you going for a while. So long. So long, partner. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Hardy, partner. What's the rush there? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? 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 Bounty target is marked with the, the skull. Let's have a look at where he is. Uh, right, so it's close to the uh, Oh 
go to this one then. place now can you now get friendly old bastard ain't you i don't need me no friends friend we all need friends <laughs> old timer we die yeah. alone but we live among men you know i was interested in moving out this way with my family would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land we wouldn't even have to speak or nothing land's too dry for farming Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for two hundred dollars, I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Black. Two hundred dollars, damn. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Uh, Why don't you come back when you got the money? <laughs> come back when you get the money. I'll come back when you get the money. Oh, that's back. Come on! Hey! Take it or leave it! Alright, oh, yeah, I'll come back when you get the Goes there. Go. You can see me from over here. Somebody go. Yeah, just disappear. Let's go.
that go? Did that go out? Oh, I think I got him. There's not too many here. I'll have to make sure I'm next one. 